this is Preeti from Analytics India Magazine and in today's episode we will be talking about what Microsoft aims to accomplish with underwater data centers. So let's get started. Data centers are the lifelines of all things internet. The movie that you streamed last night, the photos which you were able to send online or work the way you work today are all thanks to power hungry data centers which squat in the outskirts of cities occupying large real estate. So what is the alternative to non-land and non-power data center? Underwater data centers. Microsoft has been experimenting with this idea for over 5 years now with their project Natick. And the results are finally out. Microsoft's team recently have proved that the underwater data center concept was feasible and the concept is practical. Let's go ahead and find out how Microsoft made it all work. Microsoft came up with this idea of the underwater data center concept back in 2014. The objective here was to deliver lightning quick cloud services to coastal populations and safe energy. The team at Project Natick then deployed the pre-packed data center units to operate lights out on the sea floor for years. The project's Northern Isles data center has been humming away 117 feet under the sea in Scotland since June 2018. Phase 1 of this project ran into issues like biofueling. With Phase 2, however, the team made some radical changes. According to Microsoft, Nitrogen did the trick. The atmosphere of nitrogen is less corrosive than oxygen and with less people around the components, the performance of this project has dramatically improved from their previous run. Added to this is the consistently cool subsurface seas that allow for efficient data center designs. The data center was deployed at the European Marine Energy Center, a test site for tidal turbines and wave energy converters. Let's talk about why have it underwater. Right from the choice of location to the anticipation of growing demands, the team at Project Natick left no stone unturned. For instance, the Orkney Islands were selected because the grid there is supplied 100% by wind and solar. Project Natick has shown that data centers can be operated and kept cool without tapping freshwater resources. For Ben Kirtler, who leads the research for Project Natick, the success of Phase 2 already has opened up possibilities such as an underwater data center co-located with an offshore wind farm. Cutler thinks that even the light winds would be enough to run the data center. The proven reliability of Project Natick has already garnered attention from the team at Microsoft Azure. Now they are looking to serve customers who need to deploy and operate tactical and critical data centers anywhere in the world. According to Microsoft, underwater data centers can help serve customers located near large bodies of water. Deep water deployment offers ready access to cooling and a controlled environment and has the potential to be powered by co-located renewable power sources. To summarize, the success of underwater data center can mean the following. Now deploy data centers in 90 days. Since half of the world's population lives within 200 kilometers of the ocean, the data centers can be taken to the customer's low latency. Since a 200 kilometer round trip to the data center takes about 2 milliseconds and 40 milliseconds if it's 4000 kilometers away. This gives an idea of the importance of proximity. I'll drop the link to this article in the description box below. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career. See you soon. Bye.